The What If promo began today and EA released a bunch of players into packs, they gave us a Rafinha SBC and they also gave us a player objective which you can see on the screen right now, it is an 87 rated Caputa. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team then check out the link in the description igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Now to get this guy you've got to do, like, to be honest your objectives aren't that hard but um, you'll see why they can be a little bit tedious in a moment. So let's just get through these, shall we? So you've got to obviously play, play 10 games because you're going to have to score in 10 separate matches. Uh, you've got to win four of them, which I'm sure most of you can do. Score five goals with, using Serie A players in that time, easy. Assisting three using forwards, easy. And score from outside the box, which, as I say, won't be too difficult. Especially in 10 games, you'll definitely get that done. The problem is, the life foot friendly difference makers, um, you've got to use some bronze players. So, uh, yeah, although it looks a bit easy on paper, it's a little bit more difficult when you actually get into things. But um, a lot of people um, are just absolutely smashing through it right now. And that's obviously how we've got this Caputa. It's also worth mentioning in this game mode, no gold players. So, um, yeah, that's pretty mad. So, silvers and bronzes right now, especially Serie A ones, I can only imagine have risen a substantial amount. Anyway, we have Caputo on this account, so we don't need to worry about that. This was unlocked by my friend Dean, so uh, thanks to him for that. And uh, because of him, we can bring you guys this video pretty quickly, because obviously I was pretty busy doing other player reviews. Anyway, let's talk about this item. Obviously, we do have to bear in mind this card could potentially go to an 89 overall if Sassuolo do score. Um, six goals in the next five league games. So uh, hopefully that happens because uh, this card could become a really nice striker option for Serie A sides. So uh, he's got high low work rates, which is very nice, and a four star weak foot. And um, finesse shot trait is the only one to discuss. And his in games are actually quite nice. The shooting section's great, really nice finishing of 90, very good attack positioning of 93, and the shot power of 85 is also up to a really good standard. And the dribbling, it's a bit more of the same, really high reaction stat of 91, nice agility of 92, and um, yeah, some decent attributes on this card. I do wish he had better composure though, 82 isn't great, and uh, the 84 ball control also isn't as uh, good as I would like it to be, to be honest. But um, this item certainly does have some notable stats, and we have to mention the physicals too. He's got 85 strength so not only does he have good pace but he's got good strength as well so hopefully he can break through defenses um just using his physicals and now it's time to play the chem style game so uh 91 overall in game with a basic chem style you know what instantly just by looking at the card i'm thinking we just go with hunter max out his pace make his shooting elite and uh, score some goals with him i think that might be one of the premium options for this card i also don't think engine would be a bad one either to give him a nice dribbling boost but um I think we're going to go with Hunter. So, for Caputo's debut for us, we are up against this very, very interesting side featuring a bunch of SBC items and um, playing 3 5 2 to start off with. So, I can only imagine he is going to switch to uh, that 5 3 2 that everyone is loving right now um, once we get into the game. Into Dalglish. Puts it across the box of Politana. Oh, interesting. Ah, uh, what a strange goal that is. We'll take it, but. I don't know what to say. Bit fortunate with it, but right place at the right time for Caputo. We're at 1-0. Nice 1-2. Big mistake by the opposition to slide there as well. Chance for Caputo to bring us level, and he does that with his weak foot. Nice finesse around the goalkeeper, and it's 2-2. Nice. Good run. Chance for the Italian. Oh, okay. I was worried there. He hit that hard, and I honestly thought that shot was about to... It could have gone anywhere. It really can. Luckily, it went to the back of the net, and in the end... It's a brilliant, brilliant strike, which gives the goalkeeper no chance. But um, you guys saw the shot power there. I thought that shot was going to blaze over. Nice, Politano in behind. Here's an opportunity. We're just going to dink it in behind. And Caputo making a great run scores with his weak foot. And we just have turned this game around really quickly. As soon as we got that second goal, it's just been goal, goal, goal. Well, it's been a pretty high score in first 45. What will be in store for us in the second half? Here's a chance to break away down the wing. Caputo, time to use that pace of yours. You've got Dest coming across. What are we going to do? We're going to try and work our way inside. Maybe deliver the ball into the box. Cruz into the path of Caputo, who beats his man with a flick. He's unfortunate with a shot as well. Chance to break now. Caputo, plenty of grass for him to run into. He's not really coming across, so we're going to cut inside. Hit the finesse. Oh, that's a good finish as well. I actually thought the centre-back was going to nab the ball, but uh, he's done well to finish that. Here's an interesting chance. Oh, Bellerin, horrific cross. Oh!
I'm trying to skip it. Oh, he must be fuming. Oh, we've just literally nabbed that with a final kick. Well... That's, uh, that's one way to win a game. Into the next match we go, and to be honest, I'm just hoping I can put in a better defensive display because we conceded way too many goals in the last outing. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, this is a really fortunate goal. He's just one of them players in there who just nabs the ball off people. He's one of them who you tackle him, he just gets the ball back. What an intercept by SCN, and because of that, we should have scored a second. Opportunity. Oh, big, big, heavy touch there, and ultimately it's cost him. But how has he come away with the ball there? Eventually, oh, wow, how have we missed that? Puto goes to the wing, up against that play moments. John Stones, I think it is. Chance to whip it in, goes so on his left foot. And, oh, wow, what is going on with the gameplay tonight? Some wild animations are happening. That's a great goal. <laughs> Sorry for the silence, I was just focusing and making sure we got the lead back. That's a really nice finish shot. Give him too much space, give any attacker too much space, and that's the kind of shot they are going to produce. Oh, playing a risky game. High line. And we've got some very pacey attackers to get in behind. Oh, what a t oh no, it's not a good tackle from Vidic. And he's in trouble now. Oh. Okay. Um, wasn't expecting that to go in. And after that goal, he quit. Nice. Right then, straight up, is this Caputo worth unlocking? Yeah, it definitely is. A card like this... Um, that requires no coin usage, yeah, it's definitely worth getting, because even if you're not going to use an 87 overall, perfect SBC food right there, and there's also the chance as well that uh, he could go and be 89 rated if Sassuolo can get them goals in the next few games. But uh, nonetheless, focusing just on this item, what did I make of it? Um, it's a good striker item. Is it top tier? No, but it's it's a pretty solid card, and it'll definitely have some use for some people's sides, and I think it could be a really, really good impact sub off the bench, because he's got the pace, he's got the physical calls and his positioning in game is very very strong so um could nab you a few goals possibly off the bench now in terms of positives i like his finishing for the most part i think his right foot finishing is very nice and like i've already touched on his run making is really really good them high low air crits combined with a really good attack positioning stat means that this guy is constantly bombing forward and getting into good areas or at least that's what he did for me anyway um his pace is obviously rather nice but do i feel like he felt rapid in game no i actually don't to be honest which was kind of surprising, especially considering with the Hunter Kemp style, he does kind of have 99 pace. So, a uh, bit disappointed in the pace, but um, he's obviously not slow. I also wish his composure was a bit better because when in space, he's an absolutely lethal finisher. But when under pressure, you can definitely notice that... Uh, yeah, because the shot, the output just isn't as good as when he's in space. His passing's pretty average. Um, okay short passing, long passing, not so much. And uh, yeah, he's not a striker that you're going to want to be passing the ball with too much. Quick one twos are alright, but anything other than that, you're going to have a bad time. And I wouldn't use him in wide areas um, as like a wide cam, just because I don't think his crossing is good enough for that role. So unless you're happy to always cut inside and shoot... And probably wouldn't put him as a wide attacker. He's an out-and-out -out striker, I think. Now let's discuss the dribbling because that's interesting. His agility stat is actually really nice, but his ball control is just okay. And you can kind of feel that in-game. He does take heavy touches from time to time. And also his first touch is very hit and miss. So uh, that is unfortunate. Finally, physically, like the strength a lot, does have the ability to hold off would-be attackers, which is nice, and uh, I also liked his ability to win aerial battles as well, but I do wish the stamina was a bit better, because um, 82 stamina on a pacey forward just isn't that ideal, especially for late games, so um, as I said, decent card still, decent striker option, um, and I think it could be a decent super sub for some people, but uh, I'd be interested to retry this card out again once, or if it gets that boost, because uh, at that point, I think this card could uh, be really, really good, especially if you get a nice boost in the dribbling area because uh, yeah that ball control could certainly use it anyway those are my thoughts on the 87 rated what if caputo it's a really strange name isn't it what if it just feels weird saying anyway hope you've enjoyed the video if you have drop a like rating on it in the comments below let me know your thoughts subscribe if you're new thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one